Good afternoon. Welcome to the Thursday afternoon class. We have five minutes before class starts. So today's session is force focus session, especially for 20 meter run. No, intermediate load of shuttle. <laughs> what am I doing? Intermediate load of shuttle. So equipment you need is a backpack or weight. That's what you need for today. If you don't have weights, grab water bottle or something. Oh, morning. Or for me, it's afternoon, but. Um, yes, you need a little bit of weight. And today's session is high, low interval. Two movement is a similar. So if you don't have a weight, um, even it's not heavy weights, just have some kind of uh, extra weight, like water bottle, then uh, you can make the high intensity part a little bit more harder than the low intensity part. The low intensity part is a body weight exercise and a high intensity part is weighted exercise. So yeah, we will wait a little bit more. We'll get started. Well, hopefully everyone's Thursday is going well so far. Um, my outside, they're doing like road work right now, so it might be a little bit loud, but we'll see how it's gonna go. I closed my window, like I always open the window, then it's like, ah, I hear the beeping sound. So I close the window, but if I'm too hot, I will open the window. So we'll see how it's going to go. All right. We have a little bit more time. Okay. Um, what else do I need to tell you before we start? Yes, we need... A weight, backpack, or weight, that's what you need for today. And today's session is high or low interval. Um, there's high intensity part and low intensity part. High intensity part, you need some kind of weight to make it harder. Low intensity part is a body weight exercise. And it's a time oriented. So if you wanna take it as slow as you can, you wanna take that way, then you can do that. If you want to go as fast as you can in a uh, given time, you can do that as well. All right, we have a little bit more time. Let's see. Ooh, where am I going? Okay. And, well, at Manitoba right now, it's really good weather, so it's like, oh. It's close to the summer. Feels like spring. Yes, definitely. But that, maybe that's why they're doing the road work right now. <laughs> oh, right. Um, we have a little bit more time. We'll get going. We'll get started. I think today's well usually we have four sets of four four rounds or four sets we only have three sets of two, three sets to do so hopefully it will get easier as we go that's what I'm hoping that's what I plan to do so we'll see okay one more minute Okay, well, we'll get started. Come on. All right. All right. Well, we will get started. Uh, my name is Yuko. I'm a fitness and sports instructor from CFB Shallow, Manitoba. And today's session is force focus session, especially for intermediate loader shuttle. Um, our duration is about 45 minutes. And Hopefully we will finish the cool down in 45 minutes as well. And equipment you need is a backpack or a weight, some kind of resistance that you can add into your workout. 
if you want to have um you we are not going down to the ground but if you want well we have one plank so if you want you can have yoga mats for your knee but you don't need to so okay um let's see what else music so my side i will not play uh any music but your side please play your favorite music to keep you going keep help your workouts a little bit easier with the music and we'll start to uh, warm up and then explain the exercise and then we'll do cool down so before we get going i will read the dis disclosure in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Force members. By using social media platforms, the virtual fitness class, classes tailored to Canadian Armed Force personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Force members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown and it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Force members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Excess Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the uh, exercise presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAF members sustain an injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF-98. Okay, uh, hopefully everything's description and the link, link is in, uh, in the description. So just click down and you will see the link. All right. So, as I said, we're doing a force worker session. And, whoops, okay, keep moving. Come on, don't move, there you go. And so, uh, so today's exercise have eight exercise, but it's a pair. So basically there is a full pair of exercise and you only have three rounds. Each round is, well, it's a time base. So high intensity and low intensity. So first number is a high intensity, then a second number is a low intensity. So first one, you will do 45, 40 seconds of high intensity and 50 seconds of low intensity. And second set, you will do 30 seconds of high intensity, 40 seconds of low intensity. And last rounds, you will do 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So low intensity one, if you are really tired, you don't have to do exercise, you just keep walking and keep moving. Then it kind of give you a little bit of recovery time. So, so I will show you the full ex uh, eight exercise and then hopefully it will stick to your brain a little bit better. So first, um, first one is a forward lunge, high intensity work. Is forward lunge with the weight. So you will hold the weight front or this way, any way that you want. And then basically you just forward lunge, oh, can't see, forward lunge, come back, forward lunge, come back, forward lunge. So it's a time, so you can go as fast as you can or as slow as you can. That's your choice. And then take your time. If you lose the balance, then it, take your time, balance, step forward, reset yourself, and then switch to the other leg. If you don't have a bigger weight, or heavy weights, you can use a water bottle. When you step lunge forward, press forward, come back in, switch, step forward, press forward, come back, come back, like so. And that's high intensity part. Low intensity part is complex lunge, basically forward, side, back lunge with the body weight. So once you weighted lunge is done, you would do go forward, side lunge and back lunge and switch forward and side lunge and back lunge like so continue but if you're really tired and can't keep going you can just keep walking imagine you're doing the intermediate loader shuttle unloaded part is the low intensity part and second exercise is squat with the weight simple you can hold it front like so or like so, that's your option. 
weighted squat. So squat down and come back up. Squat down and come back up. Like this. That's the high intensity part. The low intensity part is body weight squat. So squat down and come back. Squat down and come back. So as fast, as slow, that's your choice. Oh, if you're lightweight or a dump, or light, light dumbbell, you can do squat and press and come back and come back. Squat, press, come back, come back. That's an option for the weight, uh, high intensity part. Uh, third part, overhead press, shoulder to shoulder is the high intensity part. So with the uh, backpack or weight, you will hold it to the one side of the shoulder, squat a little bit, press overhead, come to the other side, squat, overhead, the other side, squat, overhead, the other side. Continue there. If you have dumbbell, like small dumbbell or water bottle, same thing. One side, squat, overhead, the other side, squat, overhead, the other side. Continue moving left and right. So that's the high intensity part for the shoulder or upper body. And the low intensity part, think as a recovery, you will do skaters. So you go side, 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 side. If you don't want to jump, just step to the side, step to the side. There you go. That's the recovery part. So if you don't want to do skater, just keep walking, keep moving. Don't stop. That's the key part. And the last part is a plank pass under. So hopefully you can see. So you will do the plank, so you reach with opposite hands, slide the weights to the outside and the back to the plank. Grab and move the weights to the side. So when you're moving the weight, hopefully you can see my shoulder. When you're moving the weight, you don't want to rotate your body to help you move the weight. You want to keep it as straight as possible and pull, keep it tight in your core and switch to the other side. Pull. And come back. So you don't want to shift your hips too much. If you don't have a heavier weight, same thing. Uh, one side, uh, water bottle one side, water bottle the other side. From here, one side to the other side. Like so. Hopefully you can see you, but if you can't see. <laughs> one side, reach and then toss to the other side. Reach and toss to the other side. And that's the high intensity part. Low intensity part is the jumping jack. It's a cardio part. So jumping jack, that's the recovery part. If you don't want to jump, you can do tap, tap, tap. As none of the jumping or card <laughs> jump modified jumping jack is not an option for you. Just keep walking, moving. And that's the recovery or lower part. So Key part of the exercise is there is high intensity part, low intensity part. We start with a longer duration and then getting shorter duration. So first round, if you do well, good job, you survive. We're just gonna get shorter and shorter, so it will get easier. So modify yourself if you need to. Key part is a high intensity part, you will put effort. Low intensity part, think as unloaded part for your intermittent loaded shadow, so you would kind of recover as you keep moving. So, all right. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment. Hopefully it will sh sh slide down, but yes. If you have any question or you need a modification, please leave it in the comment. Okay, let's get start the warm up. Start with the leg swing. Hopefully you have a great balance, I don't. So you will swing your leg forward and back. Move your head. back and switch to the other leg trying to do more standing so that my hip flexor don't get too tight but apparently I'm like sitting too much my hip flexor is horribly tight right now so now front side to side I'm stretching I try to stretch more often so that my hip flexor will not get too tight, but it is a struggle. And switch to the other leg. Yeah, 
And as I attend other people's online class, then that's kind of forced me to do a stretch as well. So that's a good thing. So if you don't have motivation to do the exercise on your own, uh, check the Facebook page and then there are a lot of other bases doing the online class as well. So uh, next one, uh, hip internal rotation round, hip in. Some classes are high intensity work, some of them mobility work and out. Some of them yoga. We have yoga class too, so if you're looking for the other options, if you don't want to do high intensity work, then there is a lot of options. And out of the leg. And also it's gonna give you a good option. It's like, oh, that would be a great idea to do. And the other way, inside. All right, and now knee, hug. Hug your knee. I close my window, but it's too hot. I need to open my window. Hopefully they're not. I think it should be all right. I think they should. <laughs> if they're getting loud too loud, oh, I need to close it again, but we'll see. And now, quad stretch. Reaching. Reaching switch. All right. Now, hamstring sweep. So one leg forward, sweep. And switch to the other leg. So one leg forward, hinge from hip, knee forward, reach to your toe. Keep your back straight, hinge and reach. If you can walk, that'll be wonderful. It's a little bit tight for me. So like reach and walk, walk, walk. Switch leg, reach, walk, reach. One more. Great. Now let's do into arm. So hopefully your hamstring are not too, too tight. You're going to do into arm to thoracic extension, uh, rotation. So reach down to the ground. If you need to bend your knee, please bend your knee. Reach down, walk out to the into arm. From here, one leg forward. A little thoracic rotation. From here, rotate towards your leg side. Rotate. Hands back, legs back to the plank. Walk back. And come back. One more time. Switch the leg. So go down, touch the ground, walk out to the plank. Switch that leg, other leg forward. Rotate towards your leg side. Rotate over your spine. Come back, plank, walk back. And switch your leg one more time. Pass the ground, walk out to the plank. And leg forward, rotate to the leg side. Move from your shoulder and reach back. Hands back, plank, back to the standing. Last one, reach down to the ground. To the plank and leg forward and rotate and come back. Plank and walk back. Good. And let have a shorter circle. Start with the big circle, whichever direction. Now, circle getting smaller, 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 smaller circle. Now do reverse. Start with a small circle, reverse, and gradually getting bigger, 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 big circle. Good. Now cross front and reach back, cross and reach back, cross, reach back. Hopefully there's no comments. Okay. Reach. I make sure your hands. By switching the top arm. Hug and open. Hug and open. Good. Now this time you reach up to the side. Reach up again and come back. Reach up and side. Come back and down. One more time. Up, side, and come back. Come back. Last one. Up, side, come back, come back. Good. Now let's 
a little bit do uh, ankle shoulder uh, what is it wrist and ankle rotation we have one floor exercise but not too much since we have skaters jumping jack it's a good idea to do some ankle rotation all right so before we get going we have let's do four movement preparation exercise so complex lunge so forward side back lunge do three to one side i'll do one switch to the other side that's one so we'll do two so forward and going whichever the side you want to go whichever the leg you start go side and back and switch the leg front and side and back one more time for the first leg that you start forward side hopefully your adductor is not too tight and switch the leg forward and side and back good and body weight squat so let's do five body weight squat so go down and up down and up hopefully your ankle and knee are not too tight if you need a little bit more extra stretch and warm up please do your own good and what it uh, shoulder side to side so since you're doing overhead shoulder side to side imagine you have a weight squat down overhead come in there to the other side squat down overhead the other side squat overhead the other side one more squat overhead the other side and last one plank and chest down so activate your core so high plank nice and tight plank and shoulder tap so tap your shoulder like so so 10 tap ready set go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if you plank from your toe is hard to do modification easier from your knee that's your option so grab some water get ready grab your weights all right i gotta set up the timer Mm. So remember, there is no resting. There is only high intensity, low intensity. All right, so first one is the 40 seconds, 50 seconds. So if you take a time to get to the next exercise, that kind of gives you a break. So first one is forward lunge with the weight. And the second exercise is a complex lunge with the body weight. 40 seconds, 50 seconds. Ready, set, five, four, three, two, one, and go. So forward lunge, step forward. You can hold any way you want. You can hold this way, you can hold cradle carry. Since it's a 40 seconds are long enough, take your time if you're hip, knee, ankle is tight then it starts slow stay a little bit long in the bottom as you warm up you can move more smoothly too almost there five four three two one and drop the weight and complex lunge forward side and back and side we'll go and back and switch the side, forward, side, and back. So this part, if you're out of breath, you're tired, can't keep going, then just keep walking, that's the key point. So 20 meter rush, uh, intermediate load of shadow, you can stop, but if you stop, your time's gonna get longer. So it's a good idea to keep moving. 10 more seconds. Low intensity, but you have to keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Next one, grab the weight, squat. So squat down with the weight in. If you have a lighter weight, 
you can press forward to make it a little bit hard. If you don't have a heavy weight, you can grab right away. Press forward, come back, come back. Press forward, come back, like so. Squat. So when you squat, make sure your knees are not go forward. Keep your heels down, put your butt in the back, and come back. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Low intensity part, body weight squat. Here we go. So if it is a 20 meter, I don't know, intermittent load, I keep saying 20 meter rest is not intermittent load in shadow. When you pick up the weights, some people pick up the lunge position, some people pick up in the squat position, whichever the way, you need to get closer to the ground to pick up the weight. Keep going. If you're like getting tired, can't keep squatting, just keep walking. Keep walking, don't stop. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Overhead, shoulder, shoulder. Put the weight. Grab the weight. Huh. Squat down. Overhead, other side. Squat down. Overhead, the other side. Shoulder down. Make sure shoulder is not shrug. Shoulder down. Tight core. Press overhead. Other side, keep it core tight, draw down, keep the weights close to you. If you don't have heavy weights, same thing. Overhead, the other side. Last seven, five, four, three, two, one, and skater. I know it's kind of weird, <laughs> but I could not bend. Like, what else can I do with upper body? <laughs> So you can jump for the skater, or you can just hop to the top, side to side, tap and tap. That's the other way. As long as you keep moving, that's the key part. Because I know unloaded one is usually shorter than loaded, but do shorter loaded, longer unloaded. Help your cardio a little bit. 10 seconds, keep going. Keep walking. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Plank, pass under. So grab your weight. Oh God, you hopefully can see it. On plank and grab and pull to the other side. Keep the nice flat plank and pull to the other side. Pull and come back. Pull to the other side. If your uh, toe plank is not, not sustainable, do your knee plank and pull to the other side. And pull. Last 10. Oh, it's, it's getting <laughs> too close to me. Five, four, three, two, one. Last, last cardio is jumping jack. There you go. I think. Last three weeks, four weeks, as I did so many jumping jacks, I think I'm getting good at it. I mean, not get so tired doing jumping jacks. Keep going. I plus my ankle get a little bit stronger too, so that's a good point. Last 15. If your jumping jack is jump is not possible, tap, tap. Tap, or you can tap from tap in front, depending on how you feel. Keep moving and rest. There you go. Now you can rest, rest. Good work. One round done. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Have some water if you need to. Now. Set is going down to 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Let me adjust the time. 30, 40, there. All right, exercise don't change. Well, when you get shorter and shorter, 
if you take a time to get to the next exercise, it'll be done quickly. So hopefully you will remember to exercise what's coming next. I'll hope that I will remind you to do what's next. <laughs> All right, ready. So first one, lunges with the weight. Second one, complex lunge. Third, body uh, squat with the weight. Fourth, body weight squat. Uh, four, fifth, overhead shoulder, shoulder, skater. And that's a six. Seven is a plank pass under. And eight is the jumping jack. That's the order. All right. Second round, 30-40, ready, grab your weight, all right, three, two, one, and go, so four lunges, four lunges, I just recently changed the book inside my backpack, it's not, oh, I think it's sitting better than before, but I feel like it's shifted, but <laughs> hopefully it will stay there. 10 more seconds. See, it's a way shorter. When you come into 20 seconds, it feels like really, really short. Three, two, one, done. Complex one, forward side, back. Ready, go. Side and the back. Hopefully I will not hit it. I think there are a lot of exercises going forward and back, but sometimes we forget about the going sideways exercise as well. So it's good to mix the direction. 10 seconds, keep going. If lunge is not doable, just keep walking. Just keep walking. Three, two, one, and squat. Squat with the weight. Here you go. Make sure you keep your heels down. Toes and knees are forward. Make sure knees don't come in and keep your knees straight. Nice and upright. With the weight, don't come in forward. Keep it nice and upright. Knees forward, back straight. Look straight too. Don't look down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the weight. Final weight squat. If your legs are tired, can't keep squatting, just keep walking. Just keep walking. Just keep moving. That's the options. The key is to keep moving in that duration. And keep breathing. This is a low intensity part. You need to recover. 10 more seconds. Keep your heels down, toes and knees forward. Push your buttons back. Three, two, one. Shoulder overhead. We off your waist. One side to the other. <laughs> if your weights like my backpack, if it is big enough, I'm resting on my shoulder so you can rest on your shoulder and go overhead. If it is small, then then you can hover. Three, two, one. And skater. Sorry, I forget you can jump. So keep moving left and right. Jump is not favorable for you. Side, 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 side. You can go forward and back if you want. But as long as you keep moving, almost it. Five, four, three, two, one. Plank pass under. Grab your weight. Nice and flat back. Nice and tight core. Wider the feet, more support. Now or harder. Pull to the other side. Pull back. I don't have space. <laughs> pull to the other side and pull back. So don't drop your hip when you're pulling. Keep your hips in the same height. Shoulder down. Nice and tight, good build. Shrug your shoulder. Three, two, one, and rest. 
Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Jumping jack, last thing. Before you rest it, don't rest it. Your timer will tell me that rest time. But it's gonna be not, that's not rest time. It's just a low intensity part. 20 seconds, almost there. Jump is not favorable for you. Up, side and side, reach up or reach forward. Whichever. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Whew. So two down. All right. How is everyone doing? All right. Last one. 23. It's going to be quick. Can we quick? Uh, so like, if you don't move quickly from one exercise to the next, as you get ready, you will be done. So that's a good part, but at the same time, don't waste your time. All right, last set. Ready? 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Start with the weighted lunges. It's gonna be quick. Ready, set, and go. Oh, wait, five, three, two. One, and go. Lunges. This is the last set. Plus it's gonna be really quick too. So focus, last little bit of focus. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. And lunges. Complex lunges, all right? Body weight lunge, going forward and side or back. This is not your favorite thing. Pick the one direction and just keep going to that direction with your body weight. Keep moving. Almost there. Last time. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. And squat with the weight. If it is a print, you might want to keep it wider. I can't, if I keep it now, I can't really squat down. Five, three, two, one, and drop. Why do we squat? Keep your back straight. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Keep your back straight. Nice and tight core. Push your hips back. Heels down. Last 15. Almost there. Last 10. Keep moving. Keep breathing, too. Don't hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Overhead. Side to side. This is going to be fast. Go quick. Five, four, three, two, one. And skater. Oh, right. Almost there. Fifteen. Last ten. Keep going. Don't stop. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. One, plank, pass under. Last two. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. It's quick. Keep focus. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one, jumping jack. And then you're done. Keep going. Last 30 seconds. Don't give up here. Keep moving. Last 15. Up for it. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And done. There we go. Nice work. Good job. Woo-hoo. 
If you can keep moving when you get tired. Whoops. Good job. Hoo -hoo. You should tap your back. Like, thanks for work myself. All right. Keep moving. If your heart rate is still high, like me. Keep walking. Keep breathing from your nose and out from your uh, mouth so that you're regulating your breath. Nice work. So this one is pyramid. 40, 30, and 30, huh? what is it? 40, 50, 30, 40, 20, 30. So you went to the top. If you want, you can do the reverse. So you can do, you get, get to the top, so you get longer. So 30, 30 40 again, and 50, uh, 40, 50. Then you will be complete the pyramid. But since we don't have a time, if you consider, you be, or if you feel like you need more, Please do so, and then there is always option. All right, so keep walking. If your heart rate is high, nice work. And actually, I was thinking go up and down, but you know, I, I try shorter one, like shorter than 20, 30, 10, 10, 20. That was too short. I cannot do it, so 20, 30, it is. All right, so take a big breath in. And breathe out. Take a big breath in. And out. One more. Breathe in. And out. And shoulder stretch. The cool down. This one is a quick and nice one. You just do focus on that time. You can pick any exercise you want, basically. High intensity and low intensity. And switch to the other side, across the shoulder. You can do upper body, lower body, or like upper body, upper body, or like upper body and like lower body and core, any combination you want. As long as this intensity is different for the first one and second one. Well, if you want high intensity for longer, <laughs> but you don't have to. So it's gonna be hard to keep going. And dress it. And shoulder back, pull back. I'm glad the road construction is not like a dairy done. <laughs> Seems like done for the day. So it's quiet now. And switch to the other side. So when you do when you, you do your own workout. Start with the warm up, some kind of range of motion, uh, shoulder stretch, a chest stretch, so push back. So start with light cardio, do some kind of range of motion exercise, and then increase intensity for the main workout. And then make sure after the main workout, please do your stretches and cool downs since you have a time. So it's a good idea to do a cool down and do some mobility work when your body temperature is higher. All right, coming down, just your step, coming down to the heart, oh, hopefully, I forget, the sun, oh, there you go, coming down, a heart modified, harder stretch, so one leg forward, one leg back, and then your hip, door to your straight side, and back straight, leaning forward to the straight leg, So stretch your hamstring. If upright is enough stretch for you, that's perfect. Hold it there. If it is not enough stretch, just lean a little bit more. And switch to the other leg. So one leg forward, one back, hips toward to the straight leg side, and hinge from hip. Back straight, lean forward. Oh, perfect. My time we will be within the 45 minutes, too. Two and a half. And 
and come back and adopt your stretch. So you one leg in, one leg straight. You lean. I cannot do. What is this thing? <laughs> Me. Oh, my backpack piece. <laughs> lean to the side. So stretch the side of your hip, hip. And if your adductor is really tight, then, then you might feel it, adductor too. Switch to the other leg. Legs in. My hip is so tight, I can feel my hip. I can't go forward <laughs> for this leg. And if you're looking for the uh, Cross Canada like base uh, schedule, it will be on my description. The bottom of the description, there are um, online calendar to check which base is doing what and what time. And come back and pigeon stretch. So if you're never done, so one leg forward like so, one leg back, and bring your leg forward to you. Uh oh, that would be the easy way to show you. Go inside, so bring your leg inside. Make your hip is not dropping down, keep your hips square. And if you feel comfortable, you can come in forward. If it's too much, just keep it upright. That's your option. So stretch your hip. That's the main part. And switch to the other leg. I know most of the people are staying home. It doesn't feel like um, you're working or you're doing something, but it's like it's important to take time for yourself. Like exercise is taking time for yourself. So please take your time yourself in a day and spend your time to take care of your body and your mind. Hopefully, like situation is getting better, most of the part of the world. So hopefully, finger crossed, things will settle down and then we will get back into the normal routine soon. All right, and get out from the pigeon stretch and we're we'll going to the quad stretch. So side line, grab your knee, um, not knee, grab your ankle, bring your knee close to the other side of the knee. Push your knee back and stretch your quads. Yes, doing stretch is the best thing after exercise. And switch to the other side. Same thing, side lane. And hold your ankle, bring your knees to the other side of the knee, push your knee back a little bit, make sure your knees are all high up, up there. And deep breath in and out, and relax. Ooh. All right, and come back, and last two stretches. So knee to the chest, and thoracic rotation, so knee to the chest. And if your right knee is on your chest, rotate your knee towards your left and keep your shoulder is not rotating with you. Try to keep your shoulder on the ground. So you're stretching your chest, same time you're stretching your hip and back. Neighbor is doing the barbecue. Or we'll do the barbecue, I think. Back to the middle, switch the leg. So left leg on my chest. So I rotate to my right and keep your shoulder on the ground. I can't keep it on the ground, but close to the ground. So stretch your chest, stretch your back, and ahead.
when you do static stretch, it's a good idea to hold it 20 to 30 seconds in order to actually have the benefit of the stretch. And it's good to do after your body's body temperature, your temperature is a little bit higher. Come back to the middle. Last one. Downward dog, the calf stretch. So heels, lift your hips up and keep your knee, not lock, but relatively straight. Try to heel down to the ground and stretch your calf. If you need to walk, you can walk to stretch your calf. Slowly come back up. There we go. That's all for today. Well, thank you for coming. Well, I'm glad you can do relatively well. It's good news. So, uh, thank you for coming. Um, if you have any question or request for the exercise, please leave it in comments. Otherwise, I will see everyone next week. And have a good Thursday afternoon.